There are actually two ways to get down to the Cathedral Las Lajas. You can drive down there almost to the church, to the cathedral by car. You have to walk a little bit. Or you can take the Teleferico, the cable car, which has a, like a capacity of 150 people an hour, which is very low. So I suggest if you want to take the cable car, you're not going on the weekend, but during the week. So Jorge, he will drive the car with yeah. Sarah and they will park it. And Valentina and myself, we will take the cable car. And uh, I can see from here, and it moves almost with the speed of light. Nah. <laughs> no, it's like, I would say it's two kilometers an hour. Something like that. Very, very slow. We go there and then you can see it yourself. How fast that is. Newest technology in Colombia. Cable car power in the department of Nareña. Look at this, they're coming, you see? Wow, they're so fast. So, they're on the same level right now. And you see, when I walk, I'm faster. I not only can outrun them, I can outwalk them. <laughs> I'm outwalking the cable cars. So let's go and buy the tickets. It's always good to give big bills. I always give the 50s because you need smaller bills in the shops and stuff and they never have changed. So always if you can pay like them and keep the change and the small money. So we got the tickets. They're look like this, Dele Perico. So we were going to take the first cable car and we're alone, which is fantastic. At the station he told us 20 minutes. We can open the windows. He explained us that the doors will close automatically. And we're moving again with the speed of light. It's impressive. You see it here with the with the pole? Oh my god, oh my god, it's so fast. If you're in love, you have to take the cable car. Because you have 20 quite minutes to enjoy yourselves. If you're not in love, you shouldn't take it. Because it will be the longest 20 minutes of your life. <laughs> We're almost there, almost. It's like five meters, but I think we'll need another five minutes for the last five meters because it's in totally slow motion right now. So we arrived at the cable car station and it's actually a good spot because you have it from one side, you see the river and then let's make a turn because then you will see it. Yeah, Las Lajas. Let's go for a walk and show you around that you will find out by yourself that you need to come here to see it yourself because it's amazing. So let's go. From the station of the Teleferico, we walk down and it's just two minutes walk. But you have to walk down and then around the cathedral. And the cool thing is, you pass by the roof, you get so close. I'm usually not the biggest fan of, of churches and all this stuff, but this place is so unbelievable. It's so cool.
arrived here to Santuario Nuestra Señora de las Lajas. And I have lots of passive knowledge, but we need your active knowledge to tell everybody what it is about. Actually, well in English, this is the Our, Lady, Our Rosary Lady of Las Lajas, the sanctuary. That's the uh, whole name. Why is that? Because we have the Rosary Lady painted right here on a specific type of a stone named Laja. The Laja stone is very uh, breakable, so difficult to take from the mountain. So this painting was found here by an, an indigenous named Maria Mueses back on 1754. That's a long time ago. But uh, what happened actually was Spaniards had uh, indigenous working at their homes. But uh, indigenous were dying because of the diseases they brought here. So they built this new town crossing this mountain named Potosí. And this woman lived here. So she went every day to work in Ipiales and come back here. And one night she was carrying her little daughter and she was bigger than a baby, almost two years, three years old, and she couldn't speak and hear at all. And one night there was this storm and uh, going back home, she got into this cave. And what happened was that the little girl started talking. And what she said is, mama, mama, the mestiza, that means white and Indian, Uh, is calling me. That was the first thing that happened. So the mom got scared. My little daughter is speaking. She turned around and found this picture. That's the miracle that happened here. The second, maybe, because the first one is that the people or the person who paint this picture lived here a hundred years before. So the painting was never found. It's supposed to be painted by uh, Pedro Bedón. He was a Dominican. Uh, that's why uh, on both sides of the painting we have, we have San Francisco de Asís, mm -hmm. from Franciscans, and Santo Domingo de Guzmán, Dominicans, uh, with the Virgin Mary. So this, is, this sanctuary is very important, not just for Colombians, but also for Ecuadorians. So people from Ecuador and Colombia visit every year the Virgin Mary the sanctuary and they had brought stones so you can see the whole sanctuary is built on stone also a town is built with the stones brought by the people and more important the Virgin Mary has a crown and the crown well only people uh, the Pope uh, from Rome can crown a Virgin Mary and this crown was made with gold with the jewels given by the woman from Ecuador and Colombia. So it's very important for both countries. So uh, it's a place that you gotta see. You gotta come and visit. And the cathedral behind us, what year was it actually built? It was built in between uh, 1890 and was finished close to uh, 1940. Okay, very 1890, young. 1890, yeah. It's very young. It's the fourth construction, actually. We have this small chapel, then a big chapel then a church and now we have this cathedral and every building has been built on top of the the one was before here uh, yeah. so um, the construction is also a whole mystery because they mix arcs columns uh, stones no glue then blood then cement and so it's a mixture of architecture to have this a new Gothic cathedral at the end. And something special, it is built inside of the biggest hole in between the Nado Pastos, in between the Andes chain of mountains. So earthquakes have happened close to here and never has affect actually the church. Yeah. So tremors or earthquakes happen all around and here nothing happens. So the Virgin Mary is protecting this whole sanctuary. Oh. And a lot of miracles also happen here. So if you walk around, you will find these plates giving thanks to the Virgin Mary about um, miracle, healing especially, 
That's why we have a lot of um, angels on the on the building, but only two archangels. San Rafael for healing and San Michael for protection. Yeah. The two archangels and that's what happens here actually at the church with the Virgin Mary and the miracles that uh, the people give thanks with the plates. That's it. If you want to see it by yourself and have much more information, just book a tour. Come to Colombia and we'll organize everything for you, bringing you here and you can enjoy this fantastic cathedral and its history. So greetings from Las Rajas. If you want this angel to start playing music, subscribe our channel and we might have a miracle. Or not. Anyway, if you like our information, our cool videos about Colombia, traveling all around the country, our valuable information from professionals, we're more than happy to see you on the next videos. We're even happier seeing you coming to Colombia, booking your trips with, with us. Uh, please like our channel, write us comments, questions, whatever below and what to say more see you next time on my channel yours Columbia Frank bye bye